Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhelp on Facebook. I had a couple members question um, how to get these things off of Canvas. Well, what you want to do is, of course, sign in. Click on that object, or on the project, I should say, that you want to do. And it comes up. There's also a video on, on most of these. I think there's a couple that don't have them. So you can watch the video that Brother actually made. Um, but you click here, download them, and then it takes you into the screen where you can download your items. So let's, <coughs> excuse me, let's come here and I'm going to save this in my SVG files. And then if I want, if you want, you can create a new folder. And I'll make one, Brother Canvas, and I'll click OK, double click on that, double left click, and we'll put Flower Card. Click OK. So now that downloaded all of that, all right? So I'm going to click off of this, click on New. And wait forever and a day for it to open. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you something here. Something you want to be aware of. If I come to the SVG and I choose my file. Oops, there's all my videos I do. I come to the SVG file. And I come to Brother Canvas. Okay. It can't be used. Well, why not? Well, because it's zipped. Okay. So let's open the file. We have to unzip it. <laughs> so let's find it. Here's my brother canvas. So I hover over it. I have a Windows 10 system. I'm going to left click once and that highlights it. Well, you can come up here and do the extract, which is what I will go ahead and show you. You can click extract all. Because Windows has a native inbuilt extractor. Okay, so now let's click through it and make sure it's all open. Yes, they're all open now. So I can exit out of that. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go choose my file now. Okay, if you want, you can see what it looks like. But let's just click A. Click OK. And there it is. All right. So now you don't have to make any changes because, now this is very important, if you make any changes on this page, you need to make sure you make them on all the other pages because if you don't, especially, and this is in regards to the size, if you change the size here and you don't change the sizes on the other pages, you're going to be in trouble because <laughs> it's not going to fit. All right, so let's say a title. We'll just put, just like they have it, the A. Okay, let's go to Download. Now I have the 650, I also have the 100, but right now, if I wanted to do this, I could click it, and right now I don't have it hooked up, but that would send it wirelessly, okay, to my scan and cut. So I would walk up there and I would hit this button right here, which is what it's showing you, and that would pull it up on my screen, and I would be ready to wirelessly cut it, okay. Or, I'm going to do this again. Or, I can, it says download to PC. Well, download it to your stick. Which, mine is right here. Okay, which I don't want to do. Because I'm not going to make this card. 
So that's how you go about doing um, the projects that they have um, on the, the first page when you sign in. Okay. Um, I'm also going to capture a few other questions. So if you don't need to see any more, you can go ahead and stop watching the video. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about mirroring. Okay. I'm going to group all of these. And now that they are grouped, I can mirror. Well, this is the horizontal one. If you are doing HTV, this triangle right here is the one that you want to do if you are doing HTV. All right. Or if you uh, are doing like the glass etching and you want to do it on the bottom side of like a Pyrex pan and you want to use 651 vinyl for your stencil, use this. That will mirror the image so that you can get the proper um, cut, okay? I'm trying to think of any other issues that you guys have had. I think that's about it. Um, let's see. Let's select all these again. The Properties tab, you all know that um, this is how you uh, size it if you want to do it by... Uh, inches and stuff like that. Uh, this is by scale, the percent, if you want to do it that way. Um, you can uh, rotate it if you want to do it that way. And then this is how you can add color. I'm a big one for neon, uh, like the neon pink. And then your patterns, if you want to make it dashed lines, you can do that. So I have just now put a score line um, on all of the shapes okay and with canvas this is one really good thing about this is that when this uh, file is saved it saves as both a cut and a draw line which is a really good um, thing that I like about canvas all right if you guys have any questions at all you can find me over at scan and cut canvas and scale help on Facebook thanks guys